In this demonstration, I'll show you how to evaluate trigonometric functions when theta is an inverse trigonometric function. Now these are very difficult examples, so make sure you have a pencil and paper handy to follow along. Let's start with question number one. This question asks us to evaluate cosine when theta is the inverse sine function of 3 over 5. The technique to tackling this is first to set this as theta. So let's set that as theta. And by setting this as theta, we can find the reverse of this by taking sine of both sides. And if we take the sine of this side, you end up with 3 over 5. Now remember, sine compares the opposite over the hypotenuse. So this is your opposite, and this is your hypotenuse. So if we were to create a makeshift right triangle, and we call this side our opposite, and this side our hypotenuse, we can technically find this side by, finding, by using the Pythagorean theorem. And if you use the Pythagorean theorem to find this side, you should end up with the number 4. So, what we can do next is we can use cosine using these dimensions. Now, cosine compares the adjacent over the hypotenuse. So, pretend that we're using cosine here and we're going to use the adjacent of 4 over 5. So, your answer is 4 over 5. Let's move on to question two. Evaluate cosine when the inverse sine of x. Now this is a little more difficult than the previous one because this time we are using a variable. Once again, we're going to set this as theta. And if we set this as theta, we end up with theta is equal to sine inverse of x. Take the sine of both sides, we end up with sine theta is equal to x. Now remember, every variable or number can be put over 1. So it, we can introduce a phantom 1 here. And by doing that, we will know that this is the opposite and this is the hypotenuse. So once again, I'm going to create a triangle, a right triangle, using these dimensions where this is theta, the opposite is x, and this one right here represents the hypotenuse. And we can find this side using Pythagorean's theorem. And I do have a video dedicated on the Pythagorean's theorem. And you would find out that it is 1 minus x squared square rooted. Once again, we will use the same logic and technique as before. We're going to pretend that we're finding cosine here. So Cosine is the adjacent, which is this, over the hypotenuse. And therefore, our answer is the square root of 1 minus x squared. And that's it. Let's proceed on to question 3. This one is a little bit more difficult because of two reasons. One, we're using cosecant, which is 1 over sine. And we're using tangent. So let's start off by setting this equal to theta. Theta is equal to the inverse tangent function 2x. Take tangent to both sides, we end up with tangent theta is equal to 2x. Now tangent relates opposite over adjacent. Now if we create a fraction here, this will represent our opposite and this will represent our adjacent. Remember, so Katoa, OA. That being said, we can create a right triangle using this configuration where the opposite is 2x and the adjacent is 1 and we can easily find our hypotenuse using the Pythagorean theorem. And if you do that, you should end up with 1 plus 4x squared all square rooted. Wonderful. Now, let's pretend we are using cosecant. Of course, cosecant is 1 over sine, and sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So therefore, we should look for hypotenuse over opposite. Our hypotenuse is this one. And our opposite is 2x. And there you have it. This is your answer. 
Let's move on to the last question. In this question, we are asked to find the cotangent of the inverse of cosecant x squared, leaving the best for last. I'm going to set this to theta. Theta is equal to sec. And I will take the secant of both sides, which gives me x squared. Now, remember, cosecant or secant is equal to 1 over cosine. So cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, but this time it's going to be hypotenuse over adjacent. All right? So this is your hypotenuse, and this is your adjacent. So let's create a makeshift triangle using that. So your hypotenuse is x squared, your adjacent is 1. You'll need to find out this side, and this side, if you use the Pythagorean's theorem, I can assure you it will be x squared minus 1 square rooted. Excellent. So now we have cotangent, and we have to take cotangent of this theta. Tangent is OA, in other words, O over A, opposite over adjacent. So you'll have to take the adjacent over the opposite. Your adjacent to this angle is 1, and your opposite is there. And there you have it. This represents the answer to that. If you found this tutorial helpful, please support our channel by subscribing or by liking this video. If you have any further questions, you may visit our website at biology-forums.com. We are an online service for students seeking free homework help. See you soon.